Roblox is a game from 2006, which is running on the Roblox engine, and these are the minimum system requirements of this game. So let's see how much performance we can achieve by making some simple graphical tweaks. Let's get started. First, I've set the maximum frame limit to 240 FPS and lowered the graphics quality to the lowest preset. Be sure to do the same for better performance. Now let's see how the game performs with these settings. Well, the game is still quite playable on my PC, and I'm getting excellent FPS. However, if you're experiencing low FPS, make sure to follow the steps that I've showed in the video to squeeze out the best performance from this game. Now, let's dive into the tweaks. First, download the Blocks Trap application from the video description. After downloading, simply open it. Next, go to Fast Flags option and apply the same settings I'm using. Once done, click Install. Since the game doesn't have anything in its configuration file, we need to make some Windows tweaks to boost performance. First, delete the Windows cache files. Don't worry. Deleting these files won't harm your system. They're just trash and cache files. Next, we need to set the game to use maximum performance. You can do this by going into your graphics settings and adding the Roblox executable. After adding it, set the properties to high performance. Next, disable unnecessary startup apps to gain some extra performance. You can do this by going into startup apps and disabling any unneeded applications. We also need to disable Windows transitions and set the system for best performance. You can do this by going into View Advanced System Settings. Under the Performance tab, click on Settings, select Adjust for Best Performance, and apply it. And yeah, always remember to launch the game through the Blocks Trap executable. Finally, close any unnecessary background apps using the Task Manager, and make sure to set the game's priority to high every time you play. Now let's check how the game performs. I can say with confidence that you're going to see a significant improvement in performance after following these steps. You can get even more of an FPS boost by playing the game at a lower resolution, which you can easily adjust through the system settings. Well guys, that's it for today's video. If this video reaches 1000 likes, I'll make a second part with more advanced tweaks to achieve even better performance. So be sure to hit that target. However, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your low-spec friends so they can also enjoy playing Roblox on their low-end machines. And I'll see you all in the next video, so... Until then, take care and bye!